Where am I going to live? Where am I going to go? And what am I going to do? That's the sound of helplessness, and it's echoed by many around the community who say once you have a criminal past, it's basically impossible to find a good, safe place to live. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter, Nicole Johnson, shows us one woman who got a second chance, a second chance that saved her from being homeless. It took a long time to get to where I am. Inside a charming Moorhead home lives a kind woman by the name of Kim Brovold. She lives here with her husband, but life wasn't always this good. Basically, it had to do with alcoholism is how I got to where I did. She was married, raising children, and living the dream, but that quickly changed after multiple DUIs and some other troubles with the law. Trying to get back up and getting back up is you know, you keep getting pushed back and pushed back, and that's how people end up homeless and the whole thing. Struggling with staying sober, she lost a job and couldn't pay her fines in full, and because of that, she says no one would rent to her. It was frustrating, because you start to feel, you know, like this piece of crap. Do I dare look at something else? Am I good enough to look at something else? Am I really this bad person? Am I really this horrible person that doesn't deserve a piece, place to live? She's not alone. We heard from over a dozen other people with their own stories of a skeleton in their closet, preventing them from finding housing that's stable, affordable, and safe. To find out how difficult it is, I tried myself. I called over a dozen apartment buildings in the area and asked. If you would rent to someone if they had a felony on their record. No one told me no flat out. They all say something along the lines of, it depends. Depends on what type of crime you committed, how long ago it happened, and how it stacks up with other factors like your credit score. It's very challenging for individuals because it is subjective. Cody Schuler is the FM Coalition for Homeless Persons director and recognizes the problem. It's very tough, yeah. The coalition has started a program that's privately funded. It gives property companies who choose to participate a fallback plan. If they rent to someone who they typically wouldn't and something goes wrong, the fund helps pay for damages or lost rent. It's safer for them to be housed. It's safer for society, for everyone to, to be stably housed. And so that really, we need everyone to, um, to come around all of those same goals. For the program to work, he says more properties need to be willing to try it. I think we need to work more on helping people get back into society to be a better person because if you're thrown out on the street, then you start this cycle, and once you're in this cycle, coming back is really hard. For Brovold, breaking that cycle began with someone giving her a second chance. You gotta have some hope somewhere to start to come out of this, and just throwing everyone to the curb is not the answer. Nicole Johnson, Valley News Live. In order to be part of the landlord mitigation program, the person having a hard time renting a place needs to be referred to the program. If you want to help, you can donate to the FM Coalition for Homeless Persons or suggest to your rental property that they participate.